Hi, I'm Saki. I'm gonna show you how I made the latest song on my album. As with the previous song that I did a video on, this is just a draft, but it's kind of fun to document the process and see what can be done with relatively few resources. So here we go. So the theme of this song is plastic, so I decided that all of the sound sources had to be made of plastic. For the bass, I used PVC pipes cut to various lengths. The longer ones produce lower pitches because they make longer wavelengths, obviously. Science. For sustained pitches, I used sparkling water bottles. Um, and then for percussion, I used a bunch of stuff. Mostly I used empty water bottles. I also recorded me kicking a giant trash bucket. I didn't get video of that. Then for a shuffly snare sound, I used the opening of a carbonated beverage. Is that cheating? Because like, carbonation is not plastic. Um, okay, well anyway, the next one is definitely cheating. I used pen clicks for castanets, which is totally cheats because there are metal springs inside. I could have just bought actual plastic castanets, but that wouldn't have been eco-friendly. Plus, pen clicks are fun. And then just for extra fun, there's a wind-up toy chicken that poops out jelly bean easter eggs. Uh, but I forgot to get a video of that, so uh, here's a picture. Finally, there's a plastic ukulele, which I used very sparingly because I didn't want to rely on easy cheat hacks for the whole song. So. Once I recorded all of my sound samples, I essentially built myself a virtual Mellotron in Pro Tools by importing them into a Falcon plugin. You can see how to do that in my music professor's video linked below. It's a great tutorial, definitely check it out. After I built my very strange plastic Mellotron, I used my MIDI keyboard to input some newbie habanero rhythms. And then I added reverb to pretty much everything to kind of like glorify my trashy samples. So here's with and without reverb on a Nalgene bottle. And then finally I recorded vocals. I actually had the gain set like way too high. There's some clipping in the chorus section, but I was too lazy to do a second take because it's just a demo. After all that, I compressed the heck out of everything to make it sound a little bit more professional. Um, uh, just kidding. Um, the purpose of compressing is actually to decrease the dynamic range of the recording so that it's easier to hear the quiet little nuances without blowing your speakers out when it gets to the party time chorus. Um, but also, compressing does make it sound professional, so do it. Yeah, so that's about it. Subscribe to my channel for more behind the scenes album stuff. I guess without further ado, here's the whole song.
Just like love, it is born but never 